what makes up a good fight? Like mm -hmm. we, we said. What's at the heart of a good fight? We said fight? last time, yeah, that there's, there's, there's dumb fights and there's good fights. Mm -hmm. Well, what is a good fight? Um, and we came to this thing that we now call the core mm -hmm. of a good fight. It's four things. Right, which is easy to remember even in the heat of emotions. You can yeah. go, okay, where am I at on core, the core? Core, C-O-R-E. Right. You got it. All right. right. And the so core. The, the first one, let's talk about each one of these. The first one is cooperation. Mm -hmm. Now, this Both is. Both of you want it together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mutual. Yeah. Yeah. And in spite the win-win. Yes, mm -hmm. the, a win-win. And in spite of your fight types in the book, mm -hmm. we have a chapter and we have a little assessment you can take to figure out mm -hmm. which of the four fight types you are. And you can be a cooperator even if you're a competitor in your mm -hmm. style of mm -hmm. fighting. Well, we're both know. competitors. She mm -hmm. might not admit it, but she's, but I think she's, the difference she's a win-win is win We've girl. decided we're not in competition with right. one another. We're on the same team. We're I love that. Team. When only you one know. person yeah. wins in the relationship, that means there's a loser. Right. And, and that means you That's lose. No good. Both yeah. of you lose. Yeah. We so gotta both win. That? Both so, win. So cooperation is essential. And so we, we drill down on that in the book and talk a little bit about how do you get to that cooperative right. spirit. That the O to. is for ownership. This is huge because some couples say, look, we're talking about an issue and it is not my fault. I am not gonna own this. But what we'll say to the couple is, well, here's what you can own, even if it clearly seems to be your spouse's fault, you can own your reaction mm -hmm. right. to what happened because that's a part of the mix yeah. of the fight that right. unfolds. And, and we sometimes call it owning your chaos pie. We think of when there's, a, when there's chaos, there's friction between right. us, there's this pie, how many slices are you willing to own and say, I contributed to this much chaos in this situation? Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember that, that cell phone I told you about yesterday? <laughs> we got a little app on there that you can literally drag your finger around and take the slices. And if you both do that, mm -hmm. it'll show you, okay, all right, we're both, uh, one of us may not be wanting to own this, mm -hmm. or maybe one's owning too much, whatever, and that insight can get you to a place where you have that kind of cooperation, and right? And when, you, when you're taking ownership of it, instead of placing blame, that's right. when you start working toward resolve, and that's the point of the whole thing. So, cooperation, ownership, the R is for? Respect. Right. And this has all to do with what you convey to the person you're in the fight with. You know, I'm not gonna fight in a way that shows my pride and cuts you down. I'm gonna fight right. in a way that shows what a grand person and you are. too often, we know this from research too, too often in a conflict, you try to kind of cut the other person down by belittling them and yeah. being sarcastic. Oh, way to go, Einstein. Regular mm -hmm. genius, aren't you, you know? And or using even just the nonverbals. Yeah, do you know what one of the most toxic things is that we do to our partner in a conflict? It's, it's not even with uttering a word, it's just rolling the eyes. Mm -hmm. When we roll our mm -hmm. eyes at our partner, and we've been in, in the laboratory, a scientific laboratory, when a person's hooked up to biofeedback equipment, their heart rate is being measured and their skin temperature and so forth. And when, especially, this is true, you'll like this, especially when a woman does that to a man, <laughs> it, the man looks like a, a feather fell on his head. He didn't even notice it. Inside, he's going bananas. Yeah, because he wasn't respected. Be respected. Exactly. That's right. I think they did. men, when we feel dissed, and I've told right. Betty, I feel dissed, mm -hmm. you're disrespecting me, and that really, boy, it makes me mad. Right. And if right. it's the only thing I'll say, Betty, this really makes mm -hmm. me angry. Right. I'm, it makes me angry. I don't like it. And I'll go ahead and express right. it. It makes me do what I right? Mm -hmm. and, and we don't like to be dissed. Men right. want to be respected. There's That's something right. about that honor. Absolutely. Is that an appropriate thing that a man feels like he should be respected? Yeah, well, I know goes, we need to earn it. We need to yes. deserve it. We need to be worthy of it. But there's something inside yeah, us Yeah, I think it's hardwired into back. you. We feel like we really need to be respected. Yeah. And you can't have a good fight without it. Right. And, and it goes both ways. She needs to be respected. Yeah. as well mm -hmm. and so but that is essential that is one of the four ingredients that you've got to have to fight a good I'm, fight. I'm point blank determined to respect her I really am and I want to I want it back and, right. and that's why if she I don't think she'd ever mean it but if it comes across like it and I just say I feel like you're dissing me mm -hmm. right I say mm -hmm. that and she'll reflect on it you know mm -hmm. she yeah. might diss me one more time or two to make a point <laughs> <laughs> but, but the point is that, that that's big to us right. what, what's the last, what's well, the last? And, and by the way one of the best ways to do that is just simply to listen to each other it's not like mm -hmm. wow what do I do to respect you it's very easy to respect a person mm -hmm. it's to hear them and we do that yeah mm -hmm. all right and then here's the last one and I got to tell you this is my favorite one and I'll tell you why but it's empathy right. see O-R-E, E is for empathy. That capacity to put yourself in your partner's shoes yeah. and see the world from their perspective, mm -hmm. to accurately see it. Now, why is this important? 
we know from research, nine times out of 10, this is 90% of the time, right. if you did nothing else to resolve conflict, we know that your conflict would dissipate solely because your partner feels mm -hmm. that level of deep understanding. That you identified with mm -hmm. them. Right. You know, and this doesn't mean you set aside your perspective. It's a temporary choice. I know what I think happened. I'm going to set this aside and enter your And empathy side. changes you. It that's does. the other thing. It's not just about what it conveys to that person. Yeah. You begin to see the world differently. Right. It changes you. And that's why it's so risky.